It's where people go to grieve, to find comfort, to stay connected after a loved one dies. But one local family just learned that the grave site they've been visiting for almost four decades may not be where their loved one was actually buried. Jake Reiner has this story only on two tonight. And Jake, you were there when the family met with cemetery officials, right? They actually invited us in, Dominique, because the cemetery wanted to show that they really care about this issue and want to get to the bottom of the confusion. Insult added to injury for a Houston family Saturday nearly four decades after losing their son way too soon. That's not where he's buried. Can you imagine a family paying their respects to their loved one for more than 30 years in this exact spot, only to find out that the cemetery put the tombstone over here. For his little life to be treated this way is just unimaginable. John David Castellano Jr. died shortly after he was born prematurely in 1979. His mother was in the hospital and couldn't make the funeral. In 2016, his father had this tombstone made, and over the weekend, they planned to have another ceremony, but instead, were at a loss. What is the issue? The family sat down with Forest Lawn Cemetery Operations Manager Robert Hilliard for answers. This document showed that your bury was your brother was was interred in space 125. When it was entered into the burial book, it was space 225. The family says the problem is the space where 225 should be, where it actually is, and where they think Castellano is buried, all don't match up. What if they had to resort to possibly digging up the gravesite? By all means, do what you have to do to find my brother. And they intend to do just that. Officials say they're going to double and triple check their records. Also, interview any staffers that may have any idea about where they went wrong. Reporting live, Jake Reiner, KPRC, Channel 2 News.